Hello everyone, today I will be speaking about Kango Kuma Associates Cam Coma Strand Rod. The Cab Kona Strand Rods are a seismic reinforced carbon fiber composite rod which responds to the seismic activity in pre existing structures. Using a series of carbon fiber reinforced polymers on the interior and a layer of synthetic thermoplastic exterior, this product is high in tensile strength but low in weight. There are many advantages to this product, one being that it is the lightest seismic reinforcement in the world. It is not obstructing the structure at all, and it has an aesthetic quality that achieves lightness. Each rod is about 5 sixteenths of an inch in a 225 foot roll, which only weighs 26 pounds. The fiber rod is said to be 10 times stronger than iron, and this is the very first time that the material was used as a means of reinforcement against earthquakes. This innovation was dreamed of but was unable to be realized until the carbon fiber technology caught up to its current state. Up until 2013, this technology was not realized. When Kengo Kuma Associates partnered with Kamatsu Kellen, they were able to fabricate these rods. When thinking about these systems, Kengo Kuma Associates must not only think about the system's physical qualities, but its physiological qualities. This required a multidisciplinary approach where architecture and engineering researchers worked hand in hand with collaborating biologists. A key component of fibrous form is the process of formation, which demands a much higher level of fabrication integration during design and engineering. When designing, Kango Puma wanted to create a transparent earthquake resistance, which was a major revolution in the world of construction. These rods are attached to a building using a series of brackets attaching them to the structural system as well as to the ground. They resist horizontal movement in an earthquake. While these rods resist the forces they are put under, a tensile bracing effect which attempts to stretch the rods but cannot due to its materiality. In such earthquake prone areas such as Japan, the emphasis on seismic safety of buildings frequently leads to many sacrifices. Those could be the functionality of the building, its intended comfort and value, or beauty. When this system is added to a structure, it adds its own aesthetic beauty as well as creating a seismic resiliency. With the integration of this technology into the field, there will be environmental and societal gain on the way we construct buildings. Retrofitting existing buildings can effectively extend the usable life of a structure in an earthquake-prone region and reduce energy usage compared to other existing seismic systems.